Hello friends, welcome to my channel Data Making. Uh, in this video, I am going to uh, discuss about how to create a first DAG or workflow in the Apache Airflow. Okay, it is a part of Apache Airflow uh, practical tutorial video series. Okay, let us get started. I will log on to my uh, virtual machine. Okay, so I created a, uh, this simple DAG. Okay, it's going to be a, a, a simple uh, DAG which actually uh, executes uh, uh, three tasks. Okay, it's based on the uh, Bash script as well as the Python program. Okay or can be a python uh, uh, function which we are going to execute okay so what we are going to do is uh, uh, so basically when you want to create a dag workflow in airflow you need to create a dag definition file okay so let me uh, before going to this code uh, code uh, let me explain you simple steps to create a, a, a dag definition uh, file okay so basically you need to follow these uh, steps you need to import modules and you need to create a default uh, arguments for your DAG and then create an instance here DAG and uh, uh, specify your specify or define your task then you finally you define the dependencies like uh, whether uh, this DAG is going to be sequential one by one uh, or it is going to be uh, um, uh, parallel like uh, one after uh, uh, you want to run multiple uh, tasks in parallel then followed by uh, a new task okay Sorry for the interruption. So uh, these are the uh, simple steps you need to follow when you define a, a DAG definition file, right? Uh, uh, let me go through the uh, DAG definition uh, program which I defined. So it's going to be a simple uh, DAG definition. So I have uh, three tasks. Okay, one is one task is basically uh, uh, it's going to run a bash command which is uh, echo just a text message right uh, uh, and uh, there is another uh, operator so uh, I use the uh, operator or task interchangeably both are same so when you when you instantiate your uh, operator it becomes a task right then we have one more uh, uh, task which is of uh, 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 Python operator I, I'm going to I have a function called uh, uh, print world so which which I'm going to uh, run this uh, a function using a python operator okay there are th three tasks so if you look at the uh, steps we uh, uh, <coughs> learned in the previous step uh, we imported the uh, modules or libraries uh, packages and then we have uh, uh, the default uh, uh, argument uh, definition so we need to define your owner and what is the start date i give it to uh, uh, i'll give it today date okay so uh, 19th uh, December so and uh, how many uh, retries you want to do and uh, uh, the between the retries what is the delay you want to introduce kind of things then we are defining a DAG here so so when you define a DAG right so you need to pass the DAG ID okay so I given the DAG ID as uh, 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 let me give this as uh, <coughs> first demo DAG if you are first demo DAG okay then uh, uh, demo DAG every one hour okay so uh, so I actually uh, how the schedule I am giving so this is uh, uh, the default arguments which you define you need to pass it here and you need to uh, schedule this DAG right if you want to schedule this DAG so how how often it has to run so uh, so I am just giving this uh, uh, cron tab expression which means actually every one hour uh, at zero, zero minute it will run this so if you want to understand the uh, uh, the DAG expression, uh, uh, so there are you can give a daily, uh, the um, uh, um, uh, daily weekly kind of thing. There's a arguments, or you can provide the uh, cron expression. There is a website called uh, cron expression descriptor. Uh, you can go and uh, you can specify the uh, the cron expression and you can describe what is that. So you can just pass uh, if you pass zero here. What is the what is it describing? So every uh, every hour uh, only on Sunday it will actually run so like that you can understand and you can specify the, the crown tab expression here then inside that so this this when you say width of uh, a DAG um, object so inside that you can pro you actually you are defining that ta uh, task or uh, operators so then 
you need to define the dependencies like whether you want to run it sequentially or uh, how you want so basically i want to uh, run this uh, 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 print uh, uh, hello uh, uh, first and i have to i want to set this uh, slip for uh, 5 second uh, and then uh, uh, then uh, um, run the next uh, uh, task which is uh, print hello world so how do you specify uh, slip is the uh, one right this is a uh, ves before that uh, be before sleep i have to run the allow print so i am saying set upstream okay so upstream uh, so that the previous one upstream means what is the previous for uh, a sleep attack so you can specify a task here and sleep dot downstream means it's a, what is the next uh, uh, task it has to run so i'm saying a print underscore word you can also specify with this expression where it says uh, 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 print allow which is a bash uh, command greater than greater than uh, uh, sleep greater than greater than print, print well so basically it will run first this and then this and followed by this so you can specify this once you define this you need to place this into the uh, uh, the dax folder default folder uh, so basically by default uh, uh, you can set the uh, airflow home directory by default it is a your home directory of the user so if you see here there is a airflow folder right so inside that airflow folder you will have a folder called dax but so uh, this is a folder you, you need to place it here so let me actually uh, i have previously i kept another file so i'll just rename this file okay let me let me rename this file a uh, little bit uh, my vm is little bit slow just bear with me Okay, I'm just uh, okay. So I'll go to the home directory. I have PyCharm here. Uh, Airflow, <coughs> Airflow tutorial. So I'll just uh, copy paste this and then change this name to. first uh, demo dag okay rename this i'll take this path so i'm going to copy this into the uh, the default directory of uh, airflow okay so let me go to this copy uh, provide this path followed by uh, first uh, demo demo is a uh, dag definition file and move it to the airflow dax okay okay so i moved it so you can actually run a command called uh, airflow uh, list dax list underscore tags list dax So it is going to fetch this uh, <coughs> DAX which I kept it here, right? So, uh, so, <coughs> so I am going to run this DAX. So actually, to first you can run it locally. Okay, so to run it locally, you can just invoke uh, Airflow uh, test. You need to provide the uh, DAG name and then followed by the task name. Basically, you can run by task only. So I just given the task name as. Uh, let me run this python uh, one print world okay so i run i provide the task id and you need to provide the date okay so when you want to run, basically the start date 2009 today and uh, 12 and uh, 19 today so it is going to execute your uh, 
my task okay so it is executed and it is printed the result as world because in the, if you see this uh, we just printed a print of world here right <clears throat> that task being executed the local mode